Hello everyone, in this video we are going to build a real-time most popular python application known as website blocker. This application can be used to block the website that we use cannot open during the specific period. If you are working in a big IT company then you may notice that a couple of websites are blocked especially social networking like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Instead of using third party application to block certain website we can develop our own custom application which will block website of our choice and developing a website blocker in python is not so difficult to that's what we are going to develop a python script which will block the website we want now first we will do this task uh, without program now i am going to explain the process to block the access to a specific website the computer we need to configure the host file every os has a host file location of the host file may be different for different os so for windows os first go to file manager then go to c drive here go to windows and here go to system 32 yeah here it is then here go to drivers and go to etc and you can see the host file here this host file is used to map the host name to ip address of the machine and in this host file we are going to list the website which we want to block so this is a manual method without program and you can see uh, i blocked the list of websites and what you have to do is copy this uh, address and paste it here then type what website you want to block example i am going to block uh, facebook.com I mentioned that uh, www.facebook.com also facebook.com that's all then save this file then close this one now open the chrome google chrome then here if you are typing www.facebook.com means it won't open uh, because uh, it was blocked now I will remove the, those two lines and I will run that. Again click the host file and open notepad. Then I'm going to delete those two entries. Then I'm saving it again. So now for Facebook the permission is granted. So if I am typing www.facebook.com means it will open you can see and this is the setup to block a website without program and now i will explain uh, what are the steps and uh, how to block the website with the help of python program and this is the python script is used to block the certain website for certain period for example uh, if you are uh, working hours in your office is from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. means we will block that external website for that particular time only. After that, that uh, blocking will be unblocked. Here, for that, we are using two libraries. The first one is time and the second one is date and time. The time library is used to give delay in your program and the second one, the date and time is used to get date and time from your system. So for that purpose we are using these two library and here I am setting path for where my host file is located. You can see this is the path for where my host file is located. You can see so this is the path. In python r is uh, used to represent the raw, raw string. Next one here redirect is equal to 127.0.01. And what is this is uh, we call this as a local host address we can get this local host address from uh, that host file so open that host file and so you can see the uh, local host address here and you need to assign this to one variable so I assign to that uh, redirect variable and next line the website 
so here website is a list and in list i specified what are the website i'm going to block so here i mentioned uh, facebook and only facebook here i mentioned and that's all you can add uh, your own custom websites and the next one here i am setting setting up the infinite loop we need to have a while loop in python script to make sure that our script will run every second uh, to give the to check the delay we are using delay here so sleep 5 so for every 5 seconds the program will run automatically and we need to check the current time whether it's a working or non-working time example morning 8 am to 8 pm it's working time means and other time is non-working time then here i am creating one if condition to check uh, whether the current time is lies between working hour or non-working hour so now the time is 7.25 so it comes under uh, working hour for example uh, my program is uh, running under working hours means first what it will do means it will open my host file so you can see uh, here there is a command called open so this command is used to open the path where my host file is located and to read the data inside the host file we will use this dot read and dot read is used to read the content inside that host file and here uh, what i am doing is so example if we are in working hours means first it will check whether uh, these websites are already there in host file so here it's not there then if it's not there means it will add the website inside the host file and if it's already there means it won't do anything so pass means it won't do anything the program will run normally and in else part so what is the meaning for this else part is so if the time is not working for example uh, here if the time is 10 o'clock means so it uh, runs in else part so in else part if uh, what will happen is it will open the host file then it will read the data inside the host file it will check whether uh, these websites are there or not so if these websites are there in this host file means it will be removed uh, with the help of this else part so that we can access that uh, external website and that's all it will check for every five seconds that's why we mentioned a sleep five here so five seconds it will check whether uh, uh, it lies between working hour or it lies between non-working hour okay that's all and now i'm going to run this program so close everything and now i'm going to run this program so you can see so now we are in working hard so the website won't open www.facebook.com and you can see the python is blocking the external website so this is how this logic will work if you have any doubts or any queries means please free to ask in comment section i will clear that and keep supporting us thanks for watching thank you